In September 1964, Sony Corporation of Japan announced that a new videotape recorder would be exported to the U.S. market in 1965. This machine, called a video recorder, used half-inch magnetic tape traveling at seven and a half inches per second. Using 2,400 feet of tape on seven-inch diameter reels gave it a recording and playback time of 63 minutes. Recordings were in black and white of very good quality with monaural sound. This wonderful new product was called the CV2000 Video Recorder. The CV2000 product line was produced from 1965 to 1969 and many thousands of units were produced. Initially introduced with a price tag of $995, reception by consumers was not enthusiastic. However, the institutional and industrial markets began to buy CV2000s for in-house training and internal video newsletters. Before the CV2000, videotape recorders were large and difficult to operate. A technician was required to operate and maintain the equipment at its full potential. Videotape made up for these obvious shortcomings because of one virtue. The magnetic tape could be erased and reused. Compared to film, even with videotape's high hardware investment, the recording medium was far more economical than film. Film could only be used once, it had to be developed in toxic chemicals, and if a shot was fouled up, the film was wasted. An hour of 8mm home movie film, after processing, cost approximately $350. The same hour of videotape was typically less than $50, and it could be reused. Though the first video quarter had its problems, Sony's great new product showed the signs of things to come. Learn more at www.labguysworld.com